welcome back to ask iitians or should i say welcome back to the session because we are continuing this chapter only which we have discussed in the last session that is the components of food and in that session what we have discussed student so we have discussed about the carbohydrates and the protein that both are the energy supplier for our body and by the consumption of the carbohydrates and protein we get the energy and that's how our body is able to do the work and it's not just that we human beings are able to do the work after the consumption of food it it's a same about the plants and the animal as well fine so what we are going to do is that we are going to continue with this chapter only that we are going to see dif another different components which are present in our food okay so what are those components so we are going to study about the fats today that what are the fats just take my okay now my pen is here so it's like we are going to see what are the fats and what are their sources and how we test for the fat then we are looking for the vitamins then for the minerals and then how, how they are function and what the de deficiency can cause what type of disease so we are going to see these parts also that means student now if you have noticed that the chapter is component of food and now we are discussing all of these components and we have discussed already about the carbohydrates proteins that means these all are the components which are present in our food that is the components proteins fats vitamins minerals and all uh, and uh, it's just that another material another components are also there but we'll study in our next session so we are going to study all of these in this session only okay so starting with the fats but before that i think i'm having one question for you it is that why do the doctors prescribe us a vitamin or vitamin tablet when we get sick do you know this thing that why doctor prescribe and not only that when we are sick but it just that if we facing any problem so or or even though if not facing any problem but just to keep ourselves maintained with that some people usually take some of the vitamin pills so why we take that vitamin pills so what the thing student that we are going to find out the answer of this question in this session only because we are going to discuss about the vitamin that what vitamins do with our body and why the doctors are prescribing us a vitamin okay so just let's start with the session so first of all we are going to discuss about the fats so if you remember from the video that we have seen that there are the three suppliers of the energy in our body that first is the carbohydrates okay it's not like that first or second i'm talking about carbohydrates and proteins so from these two we are getting the energy and now the third is the fat student and from the fats also what we get we get the energy that it is also a source of energy in our body and after the consumption of the fat we get the energy but it just a student that along with the fat we get something else what that if we are consuming more amount of fat and the amount of the carbohydrates and the protein is less in our body or in our food so what happened that fat results into the obesity or you can say in the chubbiness exactly and that's how the people will become fat so that's why student that the fats also give the amount of energy to our body but it is that the energy which we are getting from the fat is somewhat lesser than the carbohydrates and the proteins that is why student fats which we take in our uh, food we see that it should contain less amount but it's not like that it, that it should be zero only it should contain less but it should be there because it is also an important part of our food fine so that's the fat that it is also a supplier of energy now we are having different type of fats now what are the different type of fats you can see saturated fats and then we are having monosaturated polyunsaturated and trans fats these are the type of fats student now saturated and the unsaturated what we mean from that see these are the types and then now if i tell you that we are having two type of fat exactly then one is the good fat and another is the bad fat as i have told you this thing that the consumption of the fat results into the obesity or the chubbiness of our body exactly that there is a chubbiness or fat so that's a student and i have already mentioned this thing that the some amount of the fat for our body is also very important if we are not taking fat in our diet so you can face some problem because of that also so that is why we are having two types of fat one is the good fat and another one is the bad fat so what's the good fat is 
the fat which is good for our body which do not result into the chubbiness or in the obesity of our body that we called as the good fat and the bad fat is that kind of fat which which you can see that uh, which cause the obesity in our body which is not good for our body so that's why we have discussed now what uh, what just that we have divided them into the four categories see a saturated fats come under the category of bad fat See, saturated means what? That means that completely contains the fat content. Okay, and if that particular food completely contain the fat content, so what will happen? That there will be the lots of fat production will be there, and it will cause a very like you can say it will cause a obesity to your body. That is why saturated fats are bad fats. But if we talk about monosaturated, uh, unsaturated, and polyunsaturated, these two are the good fats. that means after the consumption of these fat students you will not get such type of problem so that is why they are considered as the good fat that means you can consume them so as we have discussed already like the fats are Uh, like they results into the obesity that is why student it is very important to look at the component of the food that whether it contains the good fat amount or the bad fat amount like which is more if it is having the good fat amount more so you can consume it very like uh, you don't have to think twice but it just that if you are having a bad fat amount more so you have to ignore it because if you like one or two time you can consume it but you start consuming it on the very regular basis so what will happen eventually it will results into the obesity and you will become fat fine so no it's not like that we are discriminating between fat and thin it's just that we are talking about the components and food and from that what we are getting exactly or what type of changes we can observe in our body by the consumption of that so we are looking all of these points fine so these are the types of the fats and you can see in this picture that all these are the components which contain the fats okay now why the fat is important now it's the dietary fats that means again if we talk about dietary fats that means the good fats are essential to give our body energy and to support cell growth now what's the cell student cell is the fundamental unit of our body or you can say that the repeating unit of our body repeating unit of our body that means student when cell combines to to like when cell combines together so we get a like there is a formation of our body structure for example if i talk about brick so what's a brick is so we can see that the brick is a repeating unit of any building and after the repetition of that brick we got the complete structure of that particular building exactly so that's how student cell is also a repeating unit of our body and when cell repeat itself so that's how our body structure comes out fine so that is why student cell growth is very important if cell doesn't grow so we are not growing up and our growth will get restricted that is why cell growth is very important and the diet three fats we can say that the good fats are very essential for our body and they also support us for the cell growth and they also help protect your organs and help keep your body warm that they also help your body to keep your body warm and even the student one important uh, function of the fat is that that the fats are useful for you can say that for the absorption like for the absorption of the vitamins or something like that so fats are useful for absorption of vitamins or even though they also help in the working of the hormones so that's a student good fats are also very important and very essential for our body as they promote the cell growth and as well as they provide the energy and they keep us warm and as well as there is a well functioning of our organs so you can see student that even though we are having different type of fats and as we have discussed that the bad fats is not good for our body but the dietary fats are very important as you can see that they are performing so many functions that is why they the it is important exactly if it is not like if they are not there uh, if these good fats are not there in our diet so how we are getting all of these uh, properties from that exactly so that is why student fat all like it says that the yes fat increase the obesity but it depends upon the type of the fat which you are consuming if you are consuming a good fat that is a good thing and if you are consuming a more amount of the bad fat so eventually it will uh, results into a obesity or that kind of thing fine so that's the need of the fats 
Now, what are the sources of fat? Like from where you are getting the fat? So obviously, student, if you have noticed that the ghee which we use in our houses, oils, or or uh, what else I can say that oils and the ghee is one of the most important source with, from where we get the fats. Exactly, vegetable oils and even though like every type of oil contains some amount of fat, but it's just that the all of the oils have different different amount of fats. Exactly, like some of the people say just use fish oil or some some people say that use olive oil. It just depend upon the amount of the fat that it contains. If the oil is having the good amount like amount of the good fat. more so it will be useful for us as well fine almonds dry fruits they all are having the amount of fat so these all are the sources of the fat by consuming all such things we can get fat okay so we have discussed about the fats now there is a test of the fats like how you can test the fat that whether your uh, whether your food come like whether your food is having the content of the fat or not so how you are going to find it out so for that student i am having one video so we are going to watch that video okay vegetable oil is 100% fat A simple test is to rub a sample onto a piece of paper and then allow the paper to dry. Hold it in front of a light and a translucent mark indicates the presence of fat. See student that what test she has shown for for the uh, fat is that you can take one paper and what you can do is that you get like vegetable oil is the hundred percent fat so you can take uh, some amount of it and you can put the drop over that paper and just uh, and what happened uh, that initially it will be wet so just take some time so that it will get dry and when it will get dry properly completely dry so what you can do is you can just put it in the presence of the light and if it is resulting in the trans Translucence. Translucence means student. What? I hope you know the meaning of translucent. So the translucent means student from which you will be like it. It is a kind of the transparency only, but you are not pro like you are not able to look from that. That what is the behind. that particular thing so that is called as the transluency and if it is result in the, the transluency that means that particular con, that particular food or particular oil is having the content of fat so that's how student you can find out that whether the food which you are consuming it is having fat or not now we can continue with this video to find out if any of these foods contain fat first grind the solid food samples in distilled water A small amount of the liquid from each sample is then smeared onto a filter paper and left to dry. They all look translucent to start with because they're wet, so it's important to leave them to dry for a few minutes. Here are the results. Only the nuts contain fat. so student have you noticed like she has taken the three different different components and what she has done is that she has made the solution of each of them and she has taken three papers and she has put a drop of each of them on the paper and she what she has done is that she has given some time so that all of the paper get dry and when they have just dried up so what will happen that when we have put them in the presence of the light so what she has observed that only the nut that the that the solution of the nut is giving a transluency and from that we come to know that yes it uh, you can say that yes it is having the fat uh, content in it fine students so that's how you can see that whether the component is having the fat or not if it is giving the transluency property in the presence of light as you can see here that it is the water drop and the oil drop so from this oil drop it will be giving the transluency but the water drop what it will do with the paper that the paper will going to be like what i can say destroy it is not going to show any transluency or the transparency it just get tear up but the drop of the oil what it results into after the drying it will give you the transluency uh, property so that's how student you can find out whether the food is having the fat or not fine so this is the test of the fat students just give me a minute actually my mobile phone is giving me some problem now it's done 
okay so we have discussed about the fat that what are the fat is fat is also a supply of uh, of energy to our body but it just that we are having different type of fat some are good for us and some are bad for us and the good fats are very important for our body as they perform so many functions that they absorption of the vitamins because vitamins are very important for our body and we'll see that that why they are very important and even though the like they promote the cell growth if the cell growth is not there so how we are going like how we are going to be grown up exactly so that's how student fats perform so many function that is why fats are also very important for our body now coming to the another component of our food that is the vitamins now what are the vitamin student as the very first question was there that the doctor prescribes you vitamin tablets why because student vitamins helps to protect our body helps to protect our body from any kind of the disease protect our body and you can see that it will it will help to in increasing the immunity system also that the immunity strength will also going to be increase immunity increases after the consumption of the vitamins that is why student vitamins are very important so you see if any person is getting ill so what will happen that it what it required that his or her body will get protected and the immunity will get increased that is why student vitamins are very important for our body because they help put to control the hormonal uh, hormonal situation which are going on in our body so that there will be the balance that is why vitamins are very important and as you can see that the vitamins are of two type one is the water soluble and one is the fat soluble water soluble means that the vitamins which are soluble in the water we call them as the water soluble for example b vitamin and vitamin c and the fat soluble are the in that you can say that the vitamins which are soluble in fat so we call them as the fat soluble that is the vitamin in a d e k fine so these are the vitamins and the types of the vitamin depending upon their solubility some of them are water soluble and some of them are fat soluble now these all of these vitamins students are very important and if the deficiency of any of the vitamin is there it will result in any kind of the deficiency and you will face some kind of problem and we'll see that part also now first of all the question is that why is the need of the vitamins as we have seen that it protects our body exactly and as you can see in this picture that this is the tom and jerry kind of thing and he is just consuming each and everything so what the, what you are like what the point you are getting from here so it just that student the vitamins is a kind of the thing which plays a very uh, important role and different different role in our body that you can say that it protects our body it maintains our immunity system it just balances our hormonal system so that is why it is a very need. you can say the vitamins are very helpful for us and that is why a good amount or you can say the proper amount of vitamin each and every type of vitamin should be present in our body so that we won't face any kind of the deficiency or any kind of the disease will not be there fine so that's the need of the vitamins that what are the vitamins need that is just that protect our body okay immunity increases balance of the hormonal system so that's a student all of these things are important exactly for our body maintenance that is why vitamins are also very important this so you can see that he is consuming so many things the, and what it is representing yes we are having different different type of vitamins and it is very important that every type of vitamin should be there in our body so that we don't face any problem fine now what are the types of the vitamin so you can see here student that these are the types of the vitamin and these are the that what we use it for that what the help like from the vitamin a what is the what's the use of it and what are the good sources of them so you can see that the vitamin a is used for the healthy vision that you will having the healthy vision that means your eyesight will be good skin bones teeth and reproduction and the good sources of the vitamin a is liver eggs fish 
carrot so by consuming all of these things you will be having a proper amount of vitamin a inside your body so it's just that student if, if due to any uh, reason if the vitamin if the level of the vitamin a is not proper in your body so what you can do is you can start consuming all of these things so that it will get maintained fine so all these are here students like for vitamin b1 it helps convert food into energy and it's critical for nerve function that the nerve function which we are having so for that vitamin b1 is very important and these are the good sources like watermelon tomato spinach fine so these the third table in which we have written all of the use of each and every vitamin and what are the good sources of these vitamins so for vitamin b2 helps convert food into energy and supports healthy skin hair blood and brain like if you are having any problem with your skin so what you can do is you can maintain the vitamin b2 uh, in your body and it is having the name as the riboflavin and what are the sources it's like dairy products leafy veggies wheat and you can eat so many green leafy veggies so that you will be able to maintain the balance or you will be able to maintain the balance of b vitamin b2 fine then it is vitamin b3 so all these are the different different type of vitamins which are present in our body and these vitamins are used for like uh, what purpose of these vitamins are they have written here only b3 that it helps convert food into the energy and is essential for healthy nervous system nervous system student you know that it is the important part of our body so the maintenance of it is very required and if there is the deficiency of the vitamin b3 so definitely you are going to face some problem so to maintain that uh, proper so to maintain that level of vitamin b3 you can consume all of these sources like chicken tomato peanuts avocado for example if any person who doesn't like non veg like chicken or beef so what you can do is you can take peanuts tomato avocado so that's how you can maintain that vitamin level vitamin b6 helps make red blood cells and improve sleep appetite and mood like it use for the uh, you can say for making the rbcs and if the rbcs that is the important part again that is present that due to that our blood is uh, you can say red in color and that is how student the good sources of the red uh, for the vitamin b6 is chicken tofu banana watermelon so all these are the sources by the consumption of these sources you can get vitamin b6 now you can observe student that the watermelon is used for the vitamin b6 as well and for the vitamin b1 so that's how from by the consumption of any one food you can get different different uh, like vitamin as well now vitamin b7 help convert food energy to uh, food to energy and breakdown of the glucose why the breakdown of glucose is required so that we can get the energy from it and how we can get it almond soya bean fish vitamin b9 vital for new cell creation and dna synthesis see dna synthesis again see each and every function of our body is very important and that is why for each and every function there is a particular vitamin and that is why student the proper amount of each and every vitamin is good, is necessary for our body and that's how you can see that they have we have mentioned some of the sources here that have chickpeas tomato and leafy green veggies so by consumption of all of these you can get vitamin b9 level proper in your body vitamin b12 breakdowns fatty acids and amino acid help make red blood cells and from where you can get it fish eggs they all are easily available exactly vitamin c vitamin c is very important to maintain our immunity system and even though it is also important for the glow of our skin so it act as an antioxidant helps make a new cells improve immunity system and we got this vitamin c generally from the fruits like oranges fruit juices tomato so that's how vitamin d strengthen and helps from bones and teeth calcium and phosphorus so from where we are getting it uh, egg yolk sunlight sunlight is very important like generally people used to say that i am sitting in sunlight so that i can get some proper amount of vitamin d exactly vitamin e act as an antioxidant helps stabilize cell membranes so what are the sources nuts tofu grains 
विटामिन के असेंशियल फॉर ब्लड क्लोटिंग एंड हेल्पिंग टू रेगुलेट ब्लड कैल्शियम सी वॉट हैपन स्टूडेंट इफ समाइम्स इफ यू हैव ऑब्जर्व इफ एनी पर्सन इज गेटिंग सम काइंड ऑफ वाउंड एंड द ब्लड इज यू कैन से दैट द ब्लड इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी स्टॉप फ्रॉम दैट सो वॉट हैपन दैट पर्सन इज हैविंग दी डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन के बिकॉज वॉट विटामिन के डू इज दैट इट जस्ट स्टार्ट क्लोटिंग ऑफ ब्लड एंड इफ एनी पर्सन इज हैविंग डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन के सो वॉट विल हैपन द ब्लड इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी स्टॉप एंड दैट्स हाउ देर विल बी लाइक you can see that the level of the blood is going to be decreased because if the more amount of the blood is going to be flow out of your body so you can imagine that what problems you can face exactly so the amount of vitamin k should be proper because it is useful for the blood clotting find that if any wound is there so there will be some amount of the blood is going to be flow out but it just that after some time it should get stopped or you can say that the clotting must be there and it can be uh, like if some people is having that type of deficiency so how they can overcome that by consuming all such thing that is a broccoli leafy vegetables green vegetables especially so student have you seen that uh, the, uh, our body requires so many function or like so many things are there and each and everything is very important. important and for each and everything there is the particular vitamin and the and that is why the every vitamin level should be proper in our body and you can see that by consuming all of these sources we can maintain them easily fine so these all are the different type of vitamins are present in our body now these are the sources of vitamins so it's like vitamin a carrot leafy vegetables for vitamin b for vitamin c you can see we can consume fruits uh you can see kiwi oranges are there for vitamin d milk fish egg vitamin e avocado leaves like not exactly leaves we are talking about leafy vegetables vitamin k again egg wo egg chicken so these all are the sources of vitamin that means from which food you are getting which particular type of vitamin okay Now, what are the functions of vitamin? So, it is that to maintain health. First of all, to help prevent deficiency disease such as beri beri, weakened muscles, rickets, softening of bones, to regulate the repair of body cells, to help combat the aging process. to help to process carbohydrates and release energy in the body so you can see that so many functions are there see as i have told you already that the vitamins are uh, responsible for performing different different type of function in our body which are very important as well so that's a student if the uh, you, if you can see that such important functions are done by vitamin so you can only imagine that to how important they are for our body that is why if any person is getting ill so what the uh, doctor do is that first of all they get the what that what type of vitamin level is there and what's the deficiency so they just give you that type of pill okay that you have to consume the vitamin c pills or vitamin e pill so that you will be getting uh, so that you will be uh, getting better fine so these all are the functions of vitamin students now as you can see that vitamins are so important if there is any deficiency of vitamin so what problem you are going to face so see if there is a uh, deficiency of vitamin a so it's the loss of the vision that means at that time you will not able to see uh, properly like in the night time there will be the night blindness that means in the night your visibility is not good so that's how if there is a loss of vision or there is the night blindness is there so what you have to do is you have to consume such vegetables which can maintain the level of vitamin a inside your body vitamin b1 very very that means muscles are going to be weak your energy level is very weak so you can see na that what type of problem you are going to face if the energy level is very less in your body vitamin c scurvy that is bleeding gums that your gums will start bleeding wounds take longer time to heal like if you are having any kind of wound so it will take a long time to get uh, you can say heal fine so that's how uh, you can see for vitamin d as well rickets bones become soft and bend that your bones are not getting stronger even though they are getting weaker in nature calcium bone now these calcium iodine and iron they are not the vitamins actually they are the minerals which we are going to study after the vitamins okay so don't worry because minerals are also very important so you can see here so that is how student that the deficiency of the vitamin always causes some type of problem or some type of disorder in our body and to pro and to uh, overcome that proper uh, to overcome that thing what we have to do is we have to consume the sources of vitamin so that we don't face any such problem okay now after that 
we are having minerals now what are the minerals students do you know what are the minerals now you can see that so many things are written here ca is for calcium as i can told tell you this thing mg is for magnesium P is for phosphorus. See, all of these are the element students, but so they are represented by these symbols. Cu is copper. I is iodine. Zn is zinc. K is potassium. Se is selenium. Mn is manganese. So student, these are the minerals and these minerals are important for our body. Ab, uh, now we have to see that how they are important and why they are important. So you can see here that student that the minerals are important, but it's just that we don't require so much amount of it. We just require a very little amount of the minerals so that, so that uh, our body can function very well. Like the vitamins are important. So the minerals are also very important for our body. As you can see the calcium, like what the calcium, uh, like why the calcium is required so that our bones get strong exactly but if there is the deficiency of the calcium because calcium is what it is the example of the mineral if the calcium is less so what will happen our bones will get weaker that is why we are always advised to drink milk because milk is having the more amount of calcium and if we are having the proper amount of calcium so our strong so our bones will get stronger and that's how uh, and that shows that we don't require more more amount of it we require very less amount so you can see that all these are the uh, minerals which are used uh, like you can see which are very important for our body and it's just that uh, each and every mineral have their own function fine so as you can see here that these are the sources of minerals from which get you can get zinc from all of these pulses water mineral calcium you can get from milk and all of these peas so you can see that so many things are here and from consuming all these things you can get the minerals inside your bodies so these are the sources of minerals now, what are the deficiency you can see by uh, all of these things? So, see, if there is the deficiency of like calcium, so you can see hooked leaf teeth. So, these are the name of the deficiency which can cause. Zinc is not there, so little leaf. So, you can see that the, these are the disorderness or these are the diseases which you are going to face if you are having the deficiency of such minerals. And even the student, as I have shown you here already, that calcium, that bone and tooth decay, that means weak bones. As I have told you that the calcium is important for the bones. Iodine will cause the goiter. That means gland in the neck appears swollen. That means that, that this part is going to be swollen up and if you have seen in the pictures also that some of the people are having such swelling up neck and it is because of the goiter because iodine is not there iron anemia that means you will feel weakness that is why iron is very important so that your body will get strong so that's how student vitamins and minerals both are very important for our body and if there is the deficiency of the vitamins and minerals definitely you are going to face problem and that is why there are so many sources of them so that you can consume it and you will get proper amount of them so you can see all of these table here fine now we have discussed about all of the components like we have discussed about the fats we have discussed about the vitamins we have discussed about minerals now these are the some questions now what are the nutrients so the component of the food that are necessary for our growth and the development of our body we can call them as the nutrients so we can call nutrients as what vitamins minerals carbohydrates so all these are the nutrients which must be present in our food proteins fats so all these are the nutrients fine that means the component of food that are helpful for our growth and for the development that is called as the nutrients what are the nutrients essential for our body so again it is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals roughage and water these are the nutrients which are essential for our body name the different food groups so see Food can be broadly subdivided into following three. Energy giving food, as we have seen, carbohydrates and fats. Bodybuilding food, 
proteins as we have seen for the bodybuilding what the people generally do they just start consuming more and more protein so that we are having bodybuilding and then it is protective food which can protect our body from some kind of diseases as we have seen that the vitamins and the minerals plays different different role and that is why they are very important and if there is a deficiency of any particular vitamin or mineral so we have to cover up so that we don't face any kind of problem so that's why they are the protective food so foods are divided into three categories one is the energy giving food from which we get the energy second body building so that our body get maintained protective food so that our body can get protect from any kind of the disease so it's just that carbohydrates and fats are energy giving food proteins are body building food and vitamins and minerals are protective food fine students oh we have done with this thing so now students we have done all of the topics of this like of this session or this chapter we have left some part as well so we will continue that part in our next session but it's just that student i would like to say this thing watch this video with a great attention and after watching this video if you are having any question any query you are having what you have to do is you can post your question over the public or the private forum of ask iatians and you will get your answer and and in the last i would just like to say thank you so much for watching this video and just keep learning from ask iatians thank you Thank you.